our loving Father, God Almighty, attest Pastor Dill's ministry with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healings as great multitudes thronged to Jesus, praising Him, thanking Him, and loving Him, our Lord and Savior. Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you. Dear children, as we welcome you into this Saturday service, as we welcome you into the Sunday service, in all humility, the one who really welcomes you is Jesus himself and his Holy Spirit. He is there for you. And Jesus loves you. He will do something more than what you ever asked or expected. As I humble myself and come to you along with my very beloved wife Swanti and our beloved one and only daughter Divina, we are nothing. We come to the cross and the blood of Jesus cleanses us. Holy Spirit takes the blood of Jesus and cleanses me. He takes the word from Jesus. The word is Jesus. Word is Jesus. Holy Spirit takes the word from Jesus and gives to me to give to you and to me and to all of us we all need the word i need the word you need the word more and more we all need the word all the time more and more holy spirit gives the word from jesus he is the word nothing in my hands i bring simply to the cross i cling Naked come to the fortress, helpless look to the for grace, rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Jesus loves you. 
Look up to Jesus for your miracle. Don't look here, there, anywhere. Look up to Jesus. You can look at a man of God or a look, look at a woman of God, but look up to Jesus. Your praise must be Jesus. Your honor must be Jesus. The glory must be to him, the Son of God. The only begotten, only begotten Son of God who came in flesh to save us all. He has done it. He has done it. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you no matter who you are. And dear ones, one day Jesus went up to Jerusalem for the feast. And he went near the pool. Because on one side, as we always preach, as we always say, there was multitudes rejoicing, happy, and meeting one another. It was festival time. It was feast. So they were talking and happy and enjoying. A lot of noise of happiness, joy, wonderful. But Jesus chose to go to a place just there on the other side, Bethesda. Oh, the pool of Bethesda. Why he chose there? Around that pool, Bethesda, there were people unwanted, unrecognized, sick, lame, important. They were discarded people, forgotten by the society and the community, even by their families. They were made to feel worthless, worthless in life. The defeated devil tries to do this. He makes us frustrated, discouraged, many times makes us feel worthless. Today, Jesus is lifting you up, raising you up. The defeated devil is defeated forever. Jesus is risen, risen, risen. We preach a risen Savior, risen Lord, who rose from the dead when he shed his blood for us, forgiving us, pardoning us, saving us, defeating Satan, sin, death, hell, curse, and all darkness and hell. He rose from the dead and said, All hail, he said, Matthew 28, verse 9, which means everything is victorious for you now. He has won the victory. Yes, through Christ Jesus we have the victory. 1 Corinthians 15, 57, 2 Corinthians 2, 14, Psalm 92, 4. We are victorious in life. Dear ones, rejoice. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Every tear will be wiped away. Every sorrow will never be there again. Every depressive thoughts and tensions and anxieties will flee away, go away now as the word, word, word of Jesus comes to me, to you, to all. He went there. He saw the people. The, the Bible says on that day, during those times, an angel will come from heaven and trouble the water, move the water. And whoever, whoever gets into the water first will be healed, delivered, saved, made whole, no matter what their disease is, no matter what their problem is. All things are possible by God our Father. Jesus loves you. My dear ones, we are in a new covenant with Jesus today. He has shed his blood. He is risen. We will celebrate the new covenant now in a little while. In the new covenant, everyone can be first. Everyone can be first. We all have equal opportunity to receive from Jesus. Every victory, life and life in abundance, peace, joy, protection, Everything needed in our lives to overflow. Yes, long life well satisfied with salvation until rapture with our child and family, your children and family, or in whatever way you are. After that in heaven with Jesus in our Father's mansions, John 14, 2, 3. Life in abundance on this earth until rapture. He loves you, he loves you, he loves you. He loves you. It's not silver or gold or show. No, never. It's peace. 
It's joy of the Holy Spirit. It's righteousness of Jesus, washed by the blood of Jesus. Oh, he loves the humble. He loves the broken heart. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Jesus saw them, saw the pathetic situation. They were all waiting to see when the water will be moved to jump into the water. Only one person gets it then in the old covenant. But now in the new covenant, we all receive it. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Lift your hands and say thank you to our Father, Almighty God, Almighty Savior Jesus, Almighty Holy Spirit. Yes, your home is blessed, your child, your children, your life, all of us is blessed until rapture and eternal. Whenever we say blessed, we always think of silver and gold and money. No, no, no. It's peace, it's joy, it's protection, it's comfort, it's health, life in abundance, it's victory and triumph over sin and all temptations. Yes, it's such a joyful life until rapture and eternal. Everything needed, everything needed will be added, added on to us. Matthew 6, 33. Goodness and mercy will follow us all the days and years of our life until rapture and eternal. With our child and family, your children and family, or in whatever way you are, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Psalm 23, 6. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Every tear will go away. Every sorrow will go away. Every anxiety and worry will go away. He loves you, loves you, loves you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The only begotten Son of God. He is risen. He is risen from the dead. He loves you. Death and hell and curse and sin is all defeated, destroyed. He loves you. He loves you. Second Timothy 1.10 He loves you. All destroyed. First Peter three twenty two, first John three eight, Hebrews two nine, verse fourteen fifteen, Galatians three thirteen fourteen. Rejoice, my loving children. He saw a man, and he went near him. He was a paralyzed man lying on a bed. And Jesus knew, in the power of the Holy Spirit, he has been there for a long time. Oh, beloved ones, Jesus knows your pain. Jesus knows how much you have suffered, how long it has been for you. You may say, Lord, I'm getting tired. I'm tired. I can't bear this. How many people have been healed and delivered in this ministry? Countless numbers. My loving children, this is one of the such ministries in the world that has got countless miracles, healings, people saved, saved, healed. It's all in our magazines, Signs, Wonders, Miracles. It's all has gone through in our TV programs. It still goes through in our YouTube, Facebook channels. Watch them, see them. You will be encouraged. You will be encouraged. It's Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He does it. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. We are nothing. We are nothing. Jesus loves you. But you must get yourself encouraged, encouraged. David encouraged himself in the Lord when he faced adverse, adverse situations which he couldn't handle. My loving children, your enemy may look big for you. That's what the defeated, defeated devil does. He makes your challenge or your enemy look big. Maybe sickness or disease or fear or tension or office situation, whatever. Rejoice, your God and my God is mightier, mightier, all mightier. He is infinite, his love is infinite, his grace is infinite, his power is infinite. He is risen, risen Savior, resurrected Lord. He loves you, he loves you. With one finger, he will cast out every defeated devil or demons or the works of the defeated enemy out of your life. He loves you with one finger. Oh, even with a, with a hem of his garment, one atom of his blood, oh, his mighty blood, holy blood, oh, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Jesus went to him. He has been there for 30 and 8. God didn't say 38, he said 30 and 8. Which there are great reasons. One is 30 is the time when Jesus came out of the waters of baptism. The heavens were open. 
even for you, the heavens are open. Jesus is risen. He has gone to sit at the highest throne in heaven for your sake and my sake, saving us to the utmost, our families, our generations, until rapture and eternal. Hebrews 7, 25. Do you believe? Will you believe? Will you believe? He loves you, loves you, loves you. We preach a risen Savior. We preach a resurrected Lord Almighty, Jesus of Nazareth, the only begotten Son of God. My dear children, he loves you. Holy Spirit brings the love of the Father and the Son into our hearts. Romans 5, 5. Heavens are open. 30 and 8. 8 always talks of a second chance, of another chance in our life. You may think, Lord, I have missed it. I have missed it. I sinned. I sinned. I missed it. You may think like that. Or you may think someone else is getting it all. Jesus gives us another chance, another chance, another chance over and over again. Oh, he loves you, loves you, loves you. You can make it victoriously in life. Your child, your children, our child, our generation can make it victorious in life until rapture and eternal. We can and we will. We will because Jesus lives, Jesus lives. He loves you, loves you, loves you, my loving children. And Jesus asked him, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be healed? You may wonder, what a question is this? Why? He is moving the faith in us. For some of us, faith would have come to a standstill. When you see problems, when you see others getting blessed, when you see someone else is getting it and you are not getting it, you become discouraged, frustrated. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Look at Jesus. Look at how he suffered for us. He had no sin. He had no sin as a man. As a man, he lived on this earth. No sin. It's all by the obedience, obedience to the Father. Holy Spirit helping him. Holy Spirit strengthening him. Holy Spirit empowering him. Oh, his humility, his holiness. Oh, beloved ones, he loves you. He's, his honesty, his truth, that's what we must become. He loves you, loves you, loves you. He condemns no one. He condemns no one. He condemns every sin. He condemns every sin. But not the sinner, not the sinner. He gives a chance. He gives a chance. We must not willfully sin. We must not willfully sin. God is teaching us, cleansing us. Yes, with his blood, with his word. He loves us, loves us, loves us. He is telling us what is sin and what is not sin. Believe, believe, believe. He loves you. He lives, he lives, he lives. We shall live also. Dear children, today. And Jesus says, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be blessed? Do you want your home to be blessed? Do you want your life to be healed? Do you want your health to be restored? Do you want your child to be healed, blessed? Your finances blessed, your family? He's asking us. My loving children. And this man had so many excuses. So many excuses. I saw uh, the, the title of a wonderful Bible study done by my wonderful son, Pastor Garrett. Be, watch these Bible studies. Watch these Bible studies. What excuse? Yes, we have so many excuses. We have so many excuses. Sometimes we don't come to church. He has blessed us with a good job, good salary, good family, good health. How many multitudes, multitudes have been blessed through this ministry, King's Revival Church International, UAE. In all humility, all humility, I am nothing. As the founder and father and overseeing this ministry in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and other parts in Doha, and every part in my loving children, in all humility, how many of us realize what Jesus, Jesus, Jesus has done to us through this ministry, saved us, healed us, delivered us, mighty miracles, life, life-saving miracles, healings. Oh, beloved, 
It's all documented, documented. You know, many of you know. Oh, it has gone in all over the world. That's why this ministry is so loved. Never asking and going after money or silver or gold. Never, never. Oh, beloved, it's Christ who helps us. Jesus helps us. Jesus leads us. Jesus is the head. But what we are trying to tell you, are we grateful? Are we grateful? Multitudes have gone to many countries. What have they returned to this church, to this church, to this ministry? Oh, my, my beloved, dear ones, to the Father oh, who toiled and prayed, and took care and still takes care, hallelujah, until rapture and eternal. Oh, Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. He's watching all that. Oh, we are nothing. He loves you, loves you. Gratitude, gratitude, faithfulness, faithfulness. Where are we going wrong? Honesty, truth. Are we, my beloved, proud, talking about others, talking behind others, accusing Finding fault, oh no, holy, 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 loving, kind, every fruit, every fruit must be in our lives, all of us, every fruit. How much Jesus has done for us through this ministry, how much this unworthy spiritual father has toiled and carried this ministry all by his grace, by his power, by his mercy, mercy and will still do. We are increasing, we are increasing still do until rapture and eternal even from this land oh lot of ministry tears are being wiped away in uk tears are being wiped away in uk it's not silver or gold or money jesus has loved the love of jesus how many widows destitutes often servants of god are still are still regularly regularly being supported taken care of through this ministry king's revival church international how many realize that? Oh, the joy, joy, joy. It's all Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We will still do until rapture and eternal. But let us be faithful, faithful to the house of the Lord. Grateful, grateful, faithful. No excuse. Let us all, myself, you, all of us. He loves you. This man had so many excuses. Jesus loved him. Jesus said, rise take up your bed and walk. That's all Jesus said. He loves us. He understands us. But he doesn't want us to repeat this. He doesn't want us to continue in our excuses. All of us, he loves you. He loves us. He understands us. He is patient with us. That's why we live. Oh, beloved, until rapture and eternal. But we must be obedient, faithful, what we talk is what we must do. What we speak is what we must do. We must be doers of the word of God rather than speaking. We must be doers, all of us, all of us. James 1 verse 20. Oh, we must be doers of the word of God. He loves you, loves you, loves you. My loving children. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. We must be doers of the word. John 14, verse 15, all of us. So no excuses. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Sometimes I sit and think, Lord, it's, oh, the Lord said, son, like an eagle, you have carried them. Hallelujah. And you will still carry them more and more. I'm spreading your wings, Jesus told me. Carry more and more until rapture and eternal. To heal the broken heart. It's all Jesus. It's all Jesus. We are nothing. But he uses us. No excuse. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. How much he has saved you, protected you. All of us. Many have gone to many countries with all this. How many think of this? How many are grateful and faithful to all this? Jesus knows. He loves. He loves. He said, rise, take up your bed and walk. The love of Jesus. The patience of Jesus. Oh, the long suffering of Jesus and his mighty power. His mighty love. This man got up, took up his bed and walked. He got up. Every bone, every nerve, every muscle, every cell of his body was healed, healed. He was saved. He was saved. 
healed, took up his bed and walked. What a joy, what a joy. Jesus is doing that to us. Your sickness will get over. Your fear will get over. Your worry will get over. No more excuse. Lord, I'm there for you. I'm there in your house. I'm there in your house. I'll be grateful to your house, to your church. Faithful, faithful. Yes, what I speak, I will do. Hallelujah. Honest, honest in everything. All of us, me, you all, holy, holy, thankful, grateful. If anything we repent, repent. Lord, cleanse me with your blood. Cleanse me with your word. Let us be so humble, myself, you, all of us. He took up the bed and walked. What a miracle, what a miracle. Jesus has long-suffering nature. His patience, his love, his compassion, his mercy fail not. That's why we live and will live until rapture and eternal. Then he met him after some time. He met him Why he was concerned about him. Jesus could have just gone off. He healed him. He delivered him. He could have gone, but Jesus loves us. He is concerned about us. He wants our inner heart, inner heart, our inner life, our inner mind, our inner life to be clean and pure, humble, humble. Holy, holy, and honest, honest, honest. Oh, beloved ones, he loves you, loves you. Uh, he loves you. He condemns no one. But he saves everyone, everyone, anyone. We are saved by his grace. Free gift, free gift. We are saved. We are his children. We are no more sinners. We are no more sinners. We are his children. We are saved, saved by his grace. Free gift he gives us. Free gift. Every moment, every moment, every moment. His saving power, his saving life, his saving mercy, his saving grace, his saving glory is filling us, his mighty power. Save me, Lord. Save me all the time. Save me every time. Jesus met him and said, Now that you are healed, sin no more. Sin no more. He loves you. He loves us. No more excuse. Lord, I will be faithful. Lord, I will be grateful. Lord, I will be like you. I want to become like you, Jesus, on this earth, on this earth, until rapture and eternal. Yes, Lord, I want to become like you. Oh, and show your love to everyone. Show your kindness to everyone. Show your mercy to everyone. Yes, by your power, by your power, by your power, mighty power. Yes, he loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. He is here today. How many people have been healed in this ministry, delivered, miracles, signs, wonders, all documented, documented. It's all on TV programs, Facebook, YouTube, in our magazines. It's all documented all over the world. People love this ministry because of the love of Jesus, love of Jesus and his mighty power, mighty power manifested, manifested immediately. Even now it's happening. He loves you, loves you, loves you. So I'm going to now ask Jesus to come and fill us. We need Jesus. We need Jesus. I need, you need. We have to become like him on this earth, on this earth. We must be doers of the word of God. In his power, in his mighty power. Wiping the tears of others. Wiping the tears of others. Oh, his mighty power. Yes, loosening them, loosening them. In all humility, in all humility. Oh, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Every fear is going to go. Every depressions are going to go. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, no matter who you are. Today onwards, you are going to rise up, take up your bed and walk. The old life is over. The old life is over. It's going to be a mighty life like Jesus, all of us until rapture and eternal with our child and family, children and family, or in whatever way you are, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Your pain is over. Your pain is over. Don't depend on man. Don't depend on man. Depend on Jesus. Depend on Jesus. Depend on Jesus. Oh, he loves you. We need Jesus. He's the only begotten son of God who rose from the dead. He shed his blood to save us, to cleanse us, redeem us. We belong to him. We belong to him. We are his children. We are not sinners. We are his children. 
through his blood, through his blood and his resurrection. We need him, we need him, we need him to remind ourselves, to remind ourselves we belong to Jesus. We are his children, we are his children. Holy Spirit reminds us through the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, we belong to him. We are redeemed, we are saved, we are victorious, we are his children, we belong to heaven with Jesus. So we must live a life like Jesus, victorious on this earth. Long life, well satisfied with salvation. Life of abundance until rapture and eternal. Well protected with peace, joy, comfort. Oh, every provision. He loves you, loves you, loves you, no matter who you are, no matter from where you are. Come, we need Jesus, myself, you all. These two minutes, two minutes, we, as we listen and receive the mighty anointing in this song sung by our one and only daughter Divina. Oh, the power of the Holy Spirit comes, His grace, His grace, His mercy, His love. Jesus comes and fills us. Tell Him, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you, Jesus. Myself, you. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. We will receive Jesus over and over again. We will receive Jesus over and over again in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Two minutes as we listen and receive Jesus through this song. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You can be well assured, well assured Jesus has done it for you. He loves you, loves you, loves you. As we take this new covenant, this is a thankful gratitude that we tell him, we belong to you, Jesus. We are your children. Abba, Father, Abba, Father. All the defeated works of the defeated enemy has gone, destroyed. Believe, believe, believe he loves you. He is risen, the body of Jesus that was broken for you and for me. He died physically, spiritually on that cross. He had no sin. As a man, he died to save us, to redeem us, to make us his own children. What a joy, what a victory, what an assurance and truth, what a truth. He is risen with his body, with his body, having defeated Satan, sin, death, hell, curse, and all hell. Rejoice, rejoice, he loves you. Believe, 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 only believe. Because he lives, we shall live also. Until rapture and eternal. The body of Jesus broken for us. Likewise, he took the cup, gave thanks to the Father God in heaven. 
gave it to the disciples and said, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the new covenant that is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you can in remembrance of me. Jesus said henceforth, I will not drink of this fruit of the wine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Make me worthy, Lord. Worthy, whiter than snow. Cleanse me. Thank you, Jesus. The blood of Jesus shed for us. Oh, the blood shed for us gives us life, life, life in abundance, healing us, cleansing us, saving us. The mighty power, the mighty power in the blood of Jesus destroys every work of the defeated enemy. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Going to ask Habba Father, Heavenly Father, Expect your miracles, receive your miracles, receive your healings. Father, Abba, Father, I humbly come to you, nothing that I am. Thank you, Jesus, thank you. Your hand upon your loving children, what you did that day, Lord, on that man, oh, who was 30 and 8 years in that situation. You made him walk immediately. You gave him a blessed future, a joy-filled future, a new future. Yes, Lord, today let your children rise, rise, rise and live, rise and walk. Thank you, Jesus. Every defeated fear go away. Every defeated ailment in their bodies go away. Every defeated stiffness in their bodies go away. Every defeated pain in their bodies go away. Every defeated lungs and tumors go away. Every defeated headaches go away. Every defeated coughs and chest pains and throat congestions go away. Every defeated blood diseases, blood diseases go away. Every defeated ailment in their wounds, in their wombs, in their personal organs go away. One word, Lord, one word from you, Jesus, risen Savior, risen Lord, one word from you heals them, delivers them, saves them, saves them, saves them. Every sin is washed away. Every sin is washed by your blood, by your blood. Thank you, Lord. Saving blood, healing blood. Every defeated ailment in their toes, in their toes. Every defeated ailment in their legs, in their feet. Every defeated arthritis, rheumatism. Every defeated bone joint pains. Every defeated ailment in their legs. Every defeated paralysis. Every defeated lameness. Every defeated numbness. Every defeated fever. Every defeated ailment in their hands, their joints. Every defeated ailment in their liver, in their liver, every defeated ailment in their heart, anywhere from head to foot, every defeated ailments are washed away by the blood, by the blood, by the healing blood, all powerful blood, all healing blood, all saving blood, all cleansing blood, mighty power of the Holy Spirit, mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Every defeated blocks in the heart, healed, healed, cleared, every defeated chest pain, go away. Everywhere, every defeated blindness, every defeated deafness, every go away, go away. Blind see, deaf hear, lame walk, every defeated autism, every defeated mental insanities, every defeated imbalances, every defeated fits, every defeated piles and irregular painful blood flows, every defeated skin ailments. No matter what the defeated enemy could have done, Jesus, Jesus delivers and heals with his one word, one finger. Oh, just his love, his love, his love, his love is flowing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Simon, Simon. Receive your healing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Salome, Salome. Receive your healing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth, Ruth. Receive your miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. 
everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Every defeated body pains and fever go away. Every defeated mental agony, every defeated depression, every defeated frustrations, every defeated loneliness go away, go away. A joy, a joy, a peace, a confidence, inner confidence, inner assurance is filling them. Yes, an inner confidence, inner assurance, a lively hope, a living hope. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Matilda, Matilda. Thank you. Thank you. And inner hope, inner hope is filling them with peace and peace and peace. Thank you, Jesus. A new faith, a new faith, a new faith is created, is created. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Rise, take up your bed and walk. No more sin, no more sin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. A new humility, a new honesty, a new holiness. Thank you, Jesus. Every defeated brain diseases are going away. Brian, 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 be healed, be healed, be healed. Thank you, Jesus. Anywhere, the blood of Jesus is washing away every defeated work of the enemy. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is quickening your body, quickening your body, quickening every cell of your body. Rise and walk. Yes, open your eyes and see. Thank you, Lord. Open your mouth and praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Lift your hands and praise him. Every defeated ailment in your hands, in your hands, in your shoulders, every defeated ailment in your spine goes Away. rise and walk yes thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you jesus thank you nimal nimal receive it receive it receive it in jesus name thank you thank you thank you jesus thank you thank you lord thank you thank you jesus thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every defeated ailment in your mother's body, your mother is healed, your mother is healed. Every defeated ailment in your, in your child, every defeated ailment in your child. Your child is 12 years, your child is 12 years. Jesus heals, Jesus heals, Jesus heals and saves and saves. Every defeated skin ailments are going away. Thank you, a joy, a peace, a hope, a living hope, a lively hope. A faith, a faith is rising. Take up your bed and walk. Take up your bed and walk and live and live and live and live. Yes, a miracle life, a new life, a holy life, a life of peace and joy filling you, filling you. Rise up and take your miracle. Rise up and take your miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Beloved ones, as the service goes on, I'm so delighted. My great sons are being used so mightily. Yes, Pastor Philip and Anselm and uh, my sons Limo and Garrett and all these dear sons are being used mightily, mightily. Yes, God bless. Yes, and always remember the English services. The English services are in Basha. Yes, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday in Basha. Blessed are you, every one of you, the worship teams, the ushers, the helpers, and those who assist in every way, the sound, and all of you, beloved, the Noah's Ark Children's Ministry, my yes, my blessed son, Pastor Anil, yes, and the, the Newcomers Ministry, yes, my, my dear son, with Pastor Anselm, and the Youth Ministry, with my dear son, Pastor Garrett, and all, yes, everywhere oh the, we will increase more with love to everyone yes thank you jesus thank you bring new people new people broken-hearted people yes and all you helpers all you dear ones who help in the transport and anywhere anywhere jesus loves you loves you loves you we have greater works to do greater works to do jesus loves you loves you see you again see you again all my great sons every every dear one yes i am nothing i am nothing i am nothing just as a father, I am telling you, Jesus loves you. We have greater works to do as the service continues. Come, Basha, come, English service, Saturday, Sunday, and all the other languages, all the other languages everywhere is increasing beautifully, beautifully. Blessed are they, all the other languages, my great sons, the pastors who do it. Blessed are they, yes. We have to do new, more work, bring more people, those who are in tears, in pain, in agony. It's not silver or gold or money. It's people for Jesus, praises, praises for Jesus, glory and honor for Jesus. We are nothing, we are nothing. So we'll see you again, we'll see you again, see you again, always, 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 until rapture, until rapture, until rapture and eternal. See you again, see you again. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you.
Pastor, this is Sunil. He testifies that on his left ear. Come in front, son. Huh? His left ear was oozing some liquid out. For the last mm. five years, he has been having that problem. Today, when he had John 14:1, let not your heart be troubled. Immediately, the the the, the oozing completely dried, dried out, son. And completely totally dried, completely dry. Look at the joy. Look at the joy. What John 14, 1 goes, my beloved. Lift your hands, Sunil, and praise Jesus. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. This is Shirani. For one month, because of an accident, she had severe pain on her right knee. As mm -hmm. you called it out, she said the pain instantly. Completely left. gone, child. You can move your legs and you can move your feet, everything. You can stamp your feet, child. Oh, look at her. This is one of our blessed children who have been in this church with us almost 25 years. And God has healed her again and again. Bless you, child. Pastor,